Hey guys, this is a video for the fan mail question and answer session uh, for Friday, October 29th. Uh, early in the week, Al asked, how do you add a ringtone to messages and notifications and all that stuff? So I want to show you how you can take any audio file or any song on your phone uh, and make it a ringtone or a, a notification or any other sounds you need using RingDroid. So let's go ahead and open it up. You can find RingDroid in the Android market. Um, and right away when you open it, you're going to be asked to choose a song to edit. I already chose one, but uh, this is what the... Well, let's go back. This is what the list... Uh, forgot how to use it. This is what the list will look like. Um, or you can record uh, new right from your phone. But uh, you can get any any song, any audio file. So I'm going to choose a song that I really like. Um, I don't know. Domination. Dominant, not domination. I'm gonna load it up, and from here, uh, it's just gonna. You can see the audio peaks, and uh, you can start editing your start and end points. So this is your start. You can just slide that to wherever, and this is your end. And uh, if you need to get really particular about it, you can use these here at the bottom. Um, to change the position of the scrubber. Uh, then you can also edit start and end using the text hood at the bottom. So just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose a random uh, start and end point. So whatever that is, that's, <laughs> that's going to be, well, make it a little bit shorter. I want to make it a ringtone. Shouldn't be that long, but uh, let's just play that real quick. And then it's going to go on like that. I'll make it a little bit shorter. Um, and then from there you can just save it as whatever name you want so you can uh, save it as type 2 so this is going to be type as ringtone uh, by default but you can save it as a notification um, you can save it as an alarm file or you can just resave it as a regular music file um, and it'll put the, the type of file at the end of the file name so uh, we want to set it as notification so let's go ahead and hit save um, make this your default. No, you don't want to make a default. If you want to make a default, that's fine. But um, most people would want to do this if they want uh, ringtones for certain apps. So, say you want a ringtone to play, uh, a different ringtone to play when you get SMS messages. You just go into notifications, select ringtone, and then the one we made just now will be right there. As you can see, I already made one before, um, and that's the beginning of the song, the same song. Oh, let me turn my. Uh, Media volume up. I don't know if it's volume up. Okay, that's weird. Let's try it now. And then that will play whenever I get a text message now. Um, and then that's how you make a ringtone, basically. You can use it for anything that you can change the notification tone for. Um, if you can set it as a ringtone, you can change it for that. And if you wanted to set it as an alarm clock file, uh, you can even do it for that. I didn't save one, but um, if you do save it as one, it'll show up in this list here. Uh, so that's pretty much how you can take any audio file and uh, set it up as a notification, a ringtone and um, customize your phone the way you want. Thanks guys.